Hi everyone. Today I wanted to bring you a story. I wanted to read Davy's Dragon Castle. It's been a really hot new release and it's hit number one on Amazon in two different categories. And so it's nice today to, for me to, I really like to be able to give this to the children to hear and even parents and everybody can have a talk. So with that said, I'm going to read Davy's Dragon Castle. Davy Dragon lived in a huge castle. Each year, Davy held a party in his castle for all the children in Dragon Town. Dragon Town was named after Davy. Davy and his wife Lily were nice to everyone. Families lived in Dragon Town, and the parents helped Davy at his big, huge castle. The children went to school in the castle schoolroom and learned how to read, write, and do math. Dragon Town is a very special town. Only people who live there know how to find it. Dragon Town is magical and hidden from the rest of the world. So if you're not one of the special people, you can't find the Dragon Town. You can't find Davy's Castle. And there's a reason for that. All the children around the world can read about Davy and his castle. As you can see here, where they keep it all nice and warm with the fires and it's very welcoming for children. Children aren't the only ones who are there. Every year, Davy invites the local children to a huge Christmas party. And he invites the children and all of their families living in Dragon Town. And it was time for a party as Christmas was only one week away. So the sign said, Davy's Dragon Castle, that's where they're all gonna go. Candy cane fairies and snow girls and snow boys flew around decorating the castle for the boys, girls, and families in the town. Two candy cane fairies argued about who got to place the star on the top of the Christmas tree. That got taken care of. Lily said they both could place the star and she made the fairies apologize for fighting. Davy looked out of his castle at the valley and dragon town below. Davy and Lily would have guests soon. Here's Davy looking out to the dragon town below the castle. Davy loved to see the children and the families happy and having fun. Oh, look, I see a squee. Ooh, what's a squee? Have you ever heard of a squee? Squees are tiny, tiny dragons. Wow, I never heard of those. One of the tiny dragons, Tim, was born with only half of his left leg. Tim wears a prosthesis, and that means it's an artificial or a fake leg to help him out. And he walks and flies all over the castle. Nothing slows him down. So here he is, and he's got his artificial leg, and he goes everywhere, and he jumps, and he does everything. It doesn't slow him down. Davy and Lily put together Christmas stockings stuffed with nuts, fruit, and small toys for each child to take <clears throat> home after the party. Excuse me. The castle smelled of cinnamon, chocolate, and a peppermint. Peppermint candy. Peppermint hot chocolate. Parents and children arrived, and Davy was excited. He loved playing with the children. The squeeze were busy and made sure each fireplace was going so the castle was nice and warm. Christmas music filled the castle and the children, moms, and dads sang along to the music. After dinner was eaten and tummies were full, it was time for the games. Davy took each family on a sleigh ride and he flew around. Davy was a flying dragon and he flew around the castle and all over Dragon Town. And this is Davy and that's how he flew with the sleigh. He took everybody on rides. After the sleigh rides, it was time for hot chocolate. Davy blew gentle fire from his mouth to the fire pit, and the children made s'mores as they drank hot chocolate. Yeah. Davy overheard a strawberry fairy, Cindy, tell a Bun Bun Rabbit family that they were not allowed at the party and to go away. Davy's ears heard everything. There you see, they wanted to come in and she was saying no, and even the little one, he's looking down like he's really sad because the, they were being turned away. 
at the castle door, Davy stopped Cindy from talking, and he smiled at the Bun Bun Rabbit family. All people and animals are welcome. Please come right in, Davy said. Remember, only those who can see Dragon Town and Davy's Dragon Castle can come, and they were all invited. Davy smiled down at Cindy. He didn't yell at her, but he did tell her and all of his friends are welcome and that anyone who finds my castle is welcome. Davy said it's wrong not to like any creatures God has made. Everyone must get along and no fights allowed. Cindy apologized to the Bun Bun Rabbit family and she was forgiven because, see, Davy says it's not fair to judge anybody by the color of their fur or the type of animal they are or the color of their skin. Everyone understood that each person or animal is different and that nothing changes who that person or animal is, no matter the color of their skin or fur or if they have a handicap, like the little squee, Timmy. Dave and Lily flew the families back home when the party ended. The children went to sleep with arms around the Christmas stockings they received and they dreamed of baby Jesus' birth. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's I know that it's not Christmas now, but this is a video will be going up on YouTube. The book is Davy's Dragon Castle by Mary and Michael Schmidt. And thank you for listening to me read it today.